Smithsonian, standing nearly 10 feet tall and weighing up to 660 pounds, they were the largest great apes to ever live. Dates for Gigantopithecus, 6 million years ago to 100,000 years ago or beyond. Homo erectus was in Asia from 1.8 million years ago to 100,000 years ago. It is certain that the two species lived side by side. Newly discovered evidence from Tom Pa Ling cave site in Laos dated 80,000 years ago suggests modern man likely lived alongside Gigantopithecus for a few thousand years. Von K. Dutch explorer in Asia. Guten Tag, Ankenam Kenestemaken, Dank je wel. Gustav von Koniswald was a Dutch anthropologist born in Germany. His friends called him Von K for short. In the early 1930s, he ventured to China to research the famed Zhou Kaldian site for Homo erectus. He teamed up with his friend and colleague anthropologist Franz Weidenreich. In 1935, Van Koniswald walked into a Chinese herbal medicine shop in Hong Kong. He spotted two giant teeth in a drawer. He knew instantly they were from an ancient primate. Chinese chemists used ground up dragon bones and monkey teeth for aphrodisiacs. Von K may have saved the precious giganto specimens in a nick of time. He was not as lucky in his search for Homo erectus fossils. A Chinese herbalist managed to swindle Von K. Before his arrival to his shop, he smashed the Homo erectus skull and forced Koniswald to pay a top price for each separate piece. A new species is declared. The teeth were compared to other similar teeth that his Chinese colleagues had found. In 1937, Von K and Weidenreich, together with their Chinese counterparts, declared the species Gigantopithecus black eye. Since the 1930s, over 2,000 teeth and four mandibles have been found throughout southern China. Giganto, ape or man? The Japanese attacked mainland China in 1937. Weidenreich managed to save casts of the four precious Peking man skulls before the Japanese invasion. But the original fossils were lost forever. Von K had gone to Java to hunt for Homo erectus fossils. But soon after his arrival, he was captured by the Japanese and thrown into a POW camp. Von K was able to smuggle the giganto teeth out of the prison. His friend hid the fossils buried in a milk bottle in his garden till the end of the war. Von K survives. Kunniswald had been presumed dead, but miraculously he survived and made his way back to China. He linked up with his old friend and the two resumed their research on the Asian apes and hominids. Weidenreich had become a best-selling author with Apes, Giants and Man published in 1945. He made the case that 
Gigantopithecus was on the human family tree. Von K believed otherwise that Gigantopithecus was an extinct ape, not on the human family tree. Ape or man? A study released in 2019 put the debate to rest. From LiveScience.org 2019, protein sequences from dental enamel tested on a Gigantopithecus molar dating to 1.9 million years ago, they compared it to a database of protein sequences from great apes alive today. From the study, we retrieved dental enamel proteome sequences from a 1.9 million year old Gigantopithecus black eye molar found in Chulfang Cave, China. Continuing, we demonstrate that Gigantopithecus is a sister clade to orangutans with a common ancestor about 12 to 10 million years ago. Despite all his trials and tribulations, the Dutchman explorer in Asia got it right. Gigantopithecus was an extinct member of the orangutan family. Weidenreich had died in 1948. After a long and distinguished career as a paleoanthropologist at a German institute, Koniswald died in 1982. But did Gigantopithecus actually go extinct? Stay tuned, there's much more to come on Gigantopithecus. Ni hao ma, wo hen gao xin ren xin yi, wo man xi huang, ni xi huang ta, xi xie ni, zai jian.